guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm here to help you win in your finances, pay off debt, build lasting generational wealth. And today I wanna to talk to you about a few different ways that you can graduate from college with zero student loan debt. I want to dive into the differences between a prepaid college plan and a 529 plan. Now for my own college experience, I did work part-time the majority of the time that I was in school, and I did take out a few small loans. My goal was to not graduate with any debt at all. I ended up graduating with about $2,500 to $2,700 of loans that I had to repay, but I worked part-time, I got a few scholarships, and I started paying on the loans that I did take out before I graduated. So if I can give you a bonus tip just right off the bat, if you are in the situation or if your child is in the situation where you do have to take out a loan to help pay for tuition or dorm fees, do not wait until after you graduate to start sending those payments in. Start paying that loan down as early as possible, as soon as possible. And bonus tip number two, which is primarily the focus of this video, it's never too early to start saving up to go to college. For my son, I opened a savings account for him when he was just two months old. And I was just putting money into a traditional savings account. I didn't know as much about um, the best ways or best places to put my money back then. But I opened his account when he was two months old. I put money in it every single time I get paid. I get paid bi-weekly and I was earning, you know, the little 0.1% interest, but I started very early. So he's already ahead. That's the, the biggest tip that I can give, especially if you're a parent trying to help your child pay for school, start saving early. So the first thing I want to talk about today is a prepaid plan. I live in the state of Florida and I heard about the Florida prepaid college plan actually from a coworker when my son was about three years old. So he had about three years worth of savings in his account. So when I heard about Florida prepaid, my coworker's daughter was, I, I think she was a junior in high school. So they only had one year left that they could actually participate in the plan. And she started telling me about some of the things that she was trying to do. Her daughter was, of course, trying to get scholarships as well. But it piqued my interest enough to look into it, even though my son, you know, obviously had not even really started school yet. I wanted to see what I could do then to get him a leg up because in case he wanted to go to college when the time came, I didn't want it to be a struggle for him. So a prepaid college plan will lock in the tuition rate for whatever year you do the enrollment. So in the state of Florida, the enrollment was in October, but when I found out about it, it was earlier in the year. So I started doing my research earlier in the year, but your tuition rate for whatever state that you are in is going to be locked at that rate for your student at whatever year that you're enrolling. So if you are 10, 15 years away from your child going to college, even if the tuition rate goes up, you will not pay that higher tuition rate, which is one great benefit of the prepaid plan. The money directly transfers to public colleges and universities in your state. And there is a bit of an a la carte menu for you to choose from. You could either buy university credit hours or community college credit hours. The university hours are a little bit more expensive. If you've looked at the numbers, to go to school at a university is more expensive than to go at a community college. So I opted to pay for university years for my son so that it would give him more flexibility. You could also pay for dorm plans to help with housing as well. With these prepaid plans, you can purchase up to 120 credit hours, which is the equivalent of a four-year degree. So you buy them in one-year increments, and I bought two university years. Now, if my son decides later on that he does not want to go to traditional college, we can also use the money in this plan for vocational school or even graduate school if he wants to take it a step further after a four-year degree. As long as whatever he picks is done within 10 years of his projected college enrollment date, the money is there for him to use. So when you do enroll for the first time, you are going to get a projected college enrollment date based on the child's age and the approximate year that they should be graduating high school. 
The money is guaranteed by the state and it is 100% refundable. It's also transferable to another family member. The funds can also be applied to out-of-state tuition, so it won't necessarily cover the full cost of tuition like it would if your student was to go to college in your state, but if they went out of state, they could apply that money toward another college's tuition. So I already mentioned that I paid for two university years for my son. I didn't wanna to commit to four years when I first got started. They do set you up with a payment plan. I did not pay in full for two university years up front. I got on a payment plan and I paid on that plan for about a year or so, I wanna say maybe a year and a half. And then I paid the rest of it off because I heard about a 529 plan. So I decided to meet with a financial planner to see what my best options were there to really set my son up for the best success possible and no student loan debt. So the 529 plan is a bit different than the prepaid plan. It does cast a wider net. With the prepaid plan, you must use the funds toward tuition or dorm fees. With the 529 plan, you can use it for any education related expense. So computers, meal plans, books. The 529 plan can also be used for tuition at the kindergarten through 12th grade level. So it is wider than just college. You can use it earlier in your student's life as well, depending on what type of elementary or high school you want them to go to. And the 529 plan is actually an investment plan. You are actually investing money in the stock market toward education expenses at a later date. The money must be used for education related expenses. And if it's not used for that, there is a 10% penalty. And again, the money is in the stock market. So there is the risk that you would lose money due to the fluctuations of the market. But the earlier you enroll, the better. Time is on your side and historic market performance is typically showing eight to 10% increases in your money over time. I have actually shown my son what kind of options are in his 529 plan, and he is a little bit of a gamer. I guess I could say that. He's only nine, so whatever nine-year-olds can play, one of the things that he really likes are the sports video games like Madden NFL and the NBA Playground and all of that, and those are owned and managed by EA Sports. So what we discovered and what he was really excited about was to see that EA Sports is actually something that he is investing in in his 529 plan toward college expenses. So the question everyone is probably asking is which one is best? You have both, which one is best or which one do you like better? I would say look at how much time your student has before their anticipated college enrollment date and see how you could leverage both. If you have a student that's in high school or maybe graduating soon, you don't have a whole lot of time, you probably want to look into a prepaid plan because you don't want your money to be in the market where it could be losing value over time. It's kind of like your emergency fund. You don't want to put that in the market where there's a risk of losing money. Now, if time is on your side and you have a younger student or a much smaller child or you're a grandparent and you want to do something for a grandchild that's probably pretty young, look into a 529 plan. You are going to see the dips and rises in the market, but again, time is on your side and it's very likely if you're going to be expected to leave the money in for at least five to 10 years, you're going to make a whole lot more than you would just putting it even in a high yield or a high interest savings account. And really with anything else in finances, it just boils down to guidance. Everything is a rule of thumb or it's guidance. It's not a mandate. You should always look at what is best for you, your family, your comfort level. Look at your own individual situation and go from there. If you can leverage both like I did, why not? Um, when I spoke to my financial planner, one of the things that she recommended was that we use the money in his 529 plan first. That way we're sure to exhaust everything that if I couldn't use it for an educational expense, I would be getting that 10% penalty on the earnings. If I use that money first and we use it all up, then we're golden. I don't have to worry about the penalty. Then I'm going to start using money in the prepaid plan where if he doesn't use it all, it's 100% refundable and we can do whatever else we want to with it. 
I am still going to be encouraging him to apply for scholarships and I'm still leaning toward having him work part time. It doesn't have to be much, but you know, a few hours a week. There's just something in my opinion that's valuable. There's there's a different kind of learning experience and life experience that you get when you work and go to school at the same time. Uh, that's what I did and I think it would be a great lesson for him as well. I'm also planning to get creative about the timing of his enrollment. In the state of Florida, there is something called dual enrollment. So high schoolers, if they're in, I think at least their sophomore year, they can take college courses at the same time that they're finishing their high school degree and the tuition and the books are completely free. Now, I did not dual enroll, but I did early enroll. So I went to high school through 11th grade. And then instead of going my senior year, I registered for my full time first semester, first year as a college freshman. And all of my tuition was covered by the state. My parents only had to pay for my books. So I plan to get creative and leverage one of those two for him as well, just to help keep the expenses down on our part. The options available to you may vary depending on what state you live in. At the time that I opened the prepaid plan for my son, the prepaid option was only available in nine states. So I will put a list here on the screen with all of the states that are available um, with that prepaid plan as of June 2022. So you don't have to do that research. I'll take care of that for you. But the 529 plan should be available in every state. So I hope this helps you think about different ways that you can help your student pay for college without having to take out a student loan or maybe not a very high student loan or graduate with no loans at all. I didn't quite make that goal, but you know, within six months I was student loan free and I'm hoping to have my son not take out a loan at all. I hope you can do the same. If this video was encouraging, please give me a big thumbs up, share it with someone else you think may benefit from it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.